I'd like to thank Dominion and the Library of Virginia for this really wonderful award and for counting me among the number of those who are gathered here on the stage this evening. Right now, I can tell you, and most of you know, that many across the country and indeed around the world are transfixed by our presidential nomination process. <laughs> My hometown of Washington, D.C., is practically trembling in excitement with what's going on. Pundits can't stop talking about it. And I can tell you from conversations that I've had that people around the world are watching in shock and awe. <laughs> <laughs> All people wondering who will be the next leader. But this is what I can tell you. Leadership happens here where there are individuals who are committed to envisioning the future and people who are deeply passionate about working together to ensure that that vision comes to fruition, we see and we experience leadership. And that's why two months ago, I came home. For much of what I learned about leadership, I learned here. And my husband, my very wonderful husband and I, are deeply committed to sharing the laboring oar with many of you who are committed to envisioning and seeing that there is a prosperous Richmond where opportunity is widely felt. It is here that I learned that successful leadership is born of service. I learned that at home from the people who are sitting right there in that row, my, particularly my father and my mother who is here with us in spirit this evening. I also learned that leaders hold themselves accountable to high standards. They demand it of themselves and for those that they serve. I know that because of teachers whose names I still remember, Virginia farmers and Richmond artisans whose hard work and innovation and creativity I find breathtaking, to leaders from all sectors who are deeply committed to ensuring that our economy and that our communities are strong and that they are vital. And I know that leadership is inclusive. Not a man or a woman with a single share, not a single purpose, but instead a focus on those things that are important to the entire community. Committed individuals who have a shared vision. Collective leadership will be the tide that lifts all boats persistent, crisscrossing the city and the state, from the north side to Oregon Hill to Church Hill, from the south side to the west end, to Manchester to Jackson Ward, from Northern Virginia to Danville to Roanoke and beyond. We know that persistent, inclusive, accountable, and servant-inspired leadership are critical. That's the leadership that I learned here and what inspires me to be here, working with you to contribute to the prosperity of the place that I call home and to all of those who do the same. So thank you so much, Dominion and Library of Virginia, for recognizing the work that we have all done and so many of, of you in the audience. And thank you for allowing me to share in that honor. Thank you.